Okay, last question on the June 2007 paper, question 7. Ah, that's a nice vectors question. Really important vectors topic. When you come to do revision, there will almost certainly be a vectors question of some point, and it's often a big question like this. So, we've got lots of information. Um, we've got, I'm going to be using column vectors as well as opposed to IJ notation. Now, you can change between the two, hopefully. I just find that column vectors will make our life easier, and hopefully, you'll see that. Let's pull out the important information. At time naught, the position vector of our boat in column form is 3 minus 4. At time 2.5, i.e. 2.5 hours later, at 2.30, the position vector of our boat has changed and it's now at a column 8, 11. So we know B has moved, well it's gone from 3 to 8, so it's moved 5 in the horizontal direction, and it's moved 15 in the vertical direction, and it's taken 2.5 hours to do that. So we know that every, if we divide this by 2.5 every hour, the velocity of B, every single hour it would have moved 2 6 or 2i and 6j kilometers uh, per hour so that's its uh, velocity and it's moving in this direction okay so we're now asked at time t afternoon the position vector b is b so we can find uh, at any time so let's do this part b any time the position of B, which they want us to call vector, is given by its initial position plus the velocity times times time. So that tells us in column form it started out the first position it was at at 12 noon or at zero is 3 minus 4 plus its time multiplied by its velocity which we just calculated to be 2, 6. So we've got this expression here that at any time that the position of the boat is given by 3 minus 4 plus t multiplied by 2, 6. That's going to be a really useful expression that we're going to need later in this question. Another mode is given by this, so let's convert that. Let's recap. The position of our boat B was given by the vector, or given by the expression 3 minus 4 plus time multiplied by 2, 6. If we write the same thing of our other boat C, and we just convert what they've done into column, minus 9, 20, plus t, 6, lambda. Now, given that c intercepts b, well, if they intercept, if b and c intercept, we know that the position of position vector of B must be identical to the position vector of C at that time. So what we can do is we can set up, means the I components must be the same, and so if we look in the I components, we know that reading across, and this is why I write things in columns, so I back to questions that are using columns, we got 3 plus 2t is equal to the I components of the uh, boat C, is minus 9 plus 6t and we can then do that we could do the same with the j components well let's sort this out before we go on to the j components let's sort this out let's take 2t over there so we get 12 is equal to 8 
sorry, 40 taking away 2, so adding 9 to this side and taking away 2 from this side is equal to 40, so t equals 3. Okay, so we're told intercept, so they must be intercepting at 3, or uh, 3 hours, which is f like, that means at 1500 or 3 o'clock the intercept. Now if we look at the j component, so we can just read along the bottom of our vectors now, we've got minus 4 plus 6t is equal to 20 plus lambda t. But we know that t must be 3 because at 3 o'clock is the time at which they, they crash into each other or they intercept, they're occupying the same position. So we can say that minus 4 plus 18 is equal to 20 plus 3 lambda. Now we can rearrange all this, which makes 14, and then taking away 20 gives us minus 6 is equal to 3 lambda. So lambda must be minus 2. So that's found the value of lambda. Now the last plot show that before C into depth D, the boats are moving with the same speed. Well, if we just look at the velocity of a boat, we found out in the very first part that the velocity was 2, 6. So the speed, which is the magnitude of velocity, speed is magnitude of velocity. Well, so if we find the um, magnitude of this, that's just reusing Pythagoras' theorem for that. So the magnitude, which is how we write it in notation, is equal to 2 squared plus 6 squared, which is equal to 4 plus so that's root 40, which I suppose technically is uh, root 4 root 10, so it's 2 root 10. And if we find, if we look at the velocity of C, we know that that was 6 minus 2. And the reason we know that was because lambda is minus 2, so it's 6 minus 2. Um, let's find the magnitude of the velocity again using Pythagoras. We've got 6 squared. And you can see what's going to happen already, hopefully. Minus 2 squared, and it's important that we put that in brackets because then we get the root of 36 plus minus 2 times minus 2, or minus 2 squared is 4. So we get root 40, which is equal to 2 root 10. Oops. And there we are, we finished the question.